Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I would be showing you how to get the slow motion effect that you're seeing right now using Wondershare Filmora. It could be any version of Filmora, it could be X987, whichever. The slow motion effect is extremely useful according to me in some instances, such as if you want to show a B-roll on your video, such as any additional clip that you want to display on top of your video but you want to slow it down a bit so that it looks and it kind of blends a bit more in your background and in more in your main video the slow motion video effect will definitely help you a lot in that also one quick tip before we jump into the video is that whenever you plan to slow down any video always make sure whichever phone smartphone or camera that you're going to use Try if it's possible to record the video in 60 frame per second, 60 FPS or above. Anything less than 60 FPS, if you try to slow down the video, it will start to kind of hang a bit. Now hang is a bit wrong word here. It will start to stutter a bit. So prefer whenever you record, I'm pretty sure whichever smartphones are coming nowadays, they do have that 60 FPS functionality in that and anything more than that, it's the best. So without wasting any further ado, Let's jump and dive straight into the video. So that's the interface of Wondershare Filmora. Now in order to slow motion or in order to have the effect of slow motion in your video, first of all, we need to grab the video that you want to place that effect in. Let's say for this purpose, I'll select another video. Let's say this one. Now, once you have the video in your media folder, in order to apply that effect, you need to take the video and drop it onto the timeline. Once you drop it onto the timeline, just if you get this prompt, just click on keep project settings. Once that video is here, so I'll just shrink it down so it's easier for me to see. Now, for example, starting from this part, I'll make a cut. Now, whichever part you want to slow down, you need to select that particular part. Otherwise, if I apply the slow motion effect, it will apply to the entire video. So just cut that particular part where you want to apply that slow motion effect. Let's say I just want to apply up to this part. Now, first of all, I'll play the video in the normal scenario and see how the video looks like. And after that, we'll apply the slow motion and we'll see how the video looks like afterwards. So first it will look like this. Hey everyone, welcome back to MNMMPT and Nati YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm continuing the series for all the 20 topics that we have started. So this is how the video looks right now. It's pretty normal. Let's see how to apply the slow motion effect. Now to apply it, select that particular part of the video, then right click on the video and then click on speed and duration, this option. When you click on speed and duration, another dialog box will appear in front of you. Here, as you could see the speed function, prefer just changing this bar to 0.5, which is the half of what it initially is. You can definitely go any lower than that as well, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 and so on. But let's just start with 0.5. And now see, as I always say, software is just one thing. It's your own creativity that will help you in designing a video that you want. So depending on your project, depending on your video and preferences, you might have to increase or decrease the speed based on yourself. So for now, let's go with 0.5. After that, you don't have to do and worry about any other option. Click on OK. Now, as you could see, they have written slow 0.50 multiplier. So they've already slowed down that video. Now let's try playing out that video. Let's see how it looks. Hey everyone, welcome back to MNMMPT and NRT. So obviously it would sound a lot funny right now because it's not, I would say the correct clip that I've, uh, that, that I've selected. But one thing is depending on your uh, preferences, depending on your video that you have got, you might have to play around with the slow motion effect to maybe slow down or maybe even increase the speed of the video. Now, if you just want to increase the speed of the video, that's just the other way around. For example, what we need to do is again, right click on the video, click on speed and duration. So now instead of decreasing the speed, just increase the speed. Let's say I do it at 2.0 multiplier, which is twice as quicker. Once you click on OK, let's see how it plays like now. Hey everyone, welcome back to MNMMPD and RT YouTube channel. In today's video, I so obviously it would sound something like that. But again, as I said, depending on your projects and depending on your requirements, you might have to either slow down your video or maybe you have to speed up your video. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked this video and I hope you learned something new out of it. And I hope you got what you were looking for. That's the main aim and goal. 
and if you did like this video do consider clicking on the like button and also if you're new to this channel i do post a lot of videos related to tutorials for filmora and many other softwares that i'll be getting my hands on in the future so do consider subscribing so that whenever the new videos are up you guys would be the first one to be getting notified about them and with that i'm done with this video hope you guys have a great day stay safe and i will see you guys in the next video